The Twitter sphere went berserk when the Miss America pageant was won by Nina Davaluri, the first Indian American winner. Stephen Colbert responded to the attacks on his show thusly. Racist backlash popped up on social media when Twitter guys, lots of racist reaction to this choice. Some people calling her a foreigner, an Arab, even a terrorist, and upset this happened so close to the 9-11 anniversary. We've been tracking the comments. There have been 705 tweets actually referencing Miss America terrorist. That's right. 705 people saw a woman in a bikini and thought Muslim extremists. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, female beauty riled the interwebs again this week when Julie Chen defended her decision to get plastic surgery. Here was her response on the talk. What was hurtful was that um, the hateful comments that I read where people were judging me were people within my own community. Right. It, it was comments like, way to give in to the Western standards of beauty. You know, um, you're denying your heritage. You're trying to look, you know, less Asian. Guess what? I don't look less Chinese. I'm not fooling anybody here, okay? He thought we're sort of piling these two stories together because they both have to do with race in America. When, uh, when I was watching the, the, Miss Universe, the Miss America pageant, which uh, just happened to be on in the background, and I saw her, I, th I was so just happy. happened to be on uh, in the background. <laughs> honest, honest, it was just okay. on in the background. Uh, I had absolutely no idea that anyone would, I, I thought everyone would, I just assumed that everyone would be delighted because, like, diversity and, oh, this is so unconventional and it's great. I tweeted quote, first a black president, now an Indian Bollywood dancer as Miss America. I just don't know anymore, quote every redneck right now. I thought that I was joking. But then you look at the BuzzFeed put together a list of some of these things. And the Arab wins Miss America, classic. How the F does a foreigner win Miss America? She is an Arab. Well, she's not, for a start. What did you make of, of that backlash? Well, first of all, I want to tell you that I actually was watching the Miss America pageant. I didn't just have it on in the background. Volitionally. I was well, watching quite it. Quite the admission. Um, and, you know, I, I wrote about this. I said this on my Facebook wall. But it's very, it was a, an amazing moment for me personally because I grew up here in the United States. I'm Indian American. All in all the 20-something years that I've ever watched this pageant, I never thought that I would ever see an Indian American woman become Miss America, even though there's hundreds of thousands of us here, you know, tens of thousands of us here in the United States that are Indian American and, you know, consider ourselves American and are very rooted in our Indian culture. And to see her dance to this Bollywood number and then be celebrated, lauded Which for it. It was so cool, but it, it was, was beautiful. Right. Loved I loved dance. that. And I wanted loved to mention it. one other thing too. You know, she has dark skin, which is a really interesting, no one's really talking about that. So they're talking about her, you know, these racial epithets are being hurled at her. They're talking about, you know, is she not American? She was also, she has, you know, this is the first time mm. a dark skinned Indian woman has become Miss America. And, and that's something that no one's really talking about. Just to clarify, for people who aren't aware, this is not just a phenomenon in the United States. This is a phenomenon in India as well, right? Yes. The, the, yes. the valorization of lighter skin. Uh, I mean, you can't go to All a... All over uh, Asia. Yeah, I go to Asia a lot. And you can't go to a 7-Eleven in Tokyo or Bangkok as well without seeing, like, formulas and, and creams and stuff with yes. images of women getting increasingly light. It's like a... It's a slightly bizarre and unsettling thing that the, that, that the whiter they are, the less... I don't know, the more beautiful it is. As much as Bollywood dance is a part of our culture, the skin lightening cream is also a part of our culture. And yeah. you're right, it is, you know, I've, I've seen that cream on the nightstands yeah. of my aunts and cousins. Um, I but think they even have, um, like, lube, sex lube, that, like, bleaches your vagina pinker. Wow. Yeah, I saw some kind of, um, yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? I saw some sort of like Trust Jensen to bring important conversations that. of race back, sorry, to vaginal, <laughs> back to vaginal matters. Uh, Ashok, what did you make of, uh, of Miss America? Uh, I wasn't surprised that uh, people were racist about the sexist you Miss America not. pageant. No, not at all. Right. Why, why would I be? I mean, I, my, well, I my guess here's my thing. I was uh, surprised that, that anyone cared enough about the Miss America pageant to bother tweeting yeah. ra something racist about it. Right. Like, it's just Miss America. I think we might think that because we're on the East Coast, and I think yeah. Miss America might be more designed for, like, you know, the rest of the country yes. than the West, mm. which is the entire country. But, and I um, think she was going up against someone who is in a great American hero, Miss Kansas. You know, she fought for our country. She's tatted up. She's obviously, she's blonde hair, blue eyed. And I think a lot of people align themselves with her thinking that she represents America. The and there's no doubt yeah. that she is an American hero. She's amazing. But, you know, again, as an Indian American woman, I could not have been happier. And also, it makes me sad to see all of those 
things being said about her. Yeah, what amazed me also was the, the, the supposed link to somehow terrorism or the Arab world. Like, how stupid, my, my how so stupid, stupid do you have to be? My favorite one was, uh, oh, Al-Qaeda's Miss America? Thanks, yeah. Obama. That was a real <laughs> super <laughs> succinct American tweet. Yeah, I mean, look at some of these. Oh, uh, here's, a, here's one that says, nice slap in the face to the people of 9-11. How pathetic. To the people um, of the WTF, nation of have we forgotten 9-11? What is this even about? Miss America, you mean Miss 7-Eleven. Miss oh, America wow. is brought by, to, to you by their sponsors, P.F. Chang's <laughs> and 7-Eleven. And here's, yeah, the Al-Qaeda one. Miss America right now or Miss Al-Qaeda. Congratulations, Al-Qaeda. Our Miss America is one of you. Jinsi, it's going to be so wonderful when these people just die right. off slowly. Because well, I feel like in 50 years, there look, just aren't going to be many of them left. We're that taking That ain't over. true, honey. That ain't true. No? Unfortunately, no. I'm from the South. And I can tell you, racism is alive and well down there. It's a really, uh, it's quite a phenomenon. It's pretty shocking for me to go back actually and um, and be exposed to that again. And you know what? It's just, it's crazy to me. But a lot of white people be scared of brown people. What's up with that? Mm. What is up with that? I don't know. I think it's, uh, I think it's this entrenched idea over time because we had. A history of slavery in this country, and because but white people be think they're like better. Of the people who you're oppressing. That's what I don't understand. Why? I mean, I could understand you being resentful of the fact that they're afraid of you mm -hmm. because you've been dominating them for the past 400 right. years. But I don't understand how, where the reverse fear. Comes I don't from. think people. I don't think in this incident people are, are afraid. I think they think it's a betrayal. The Miss America's betraying the nation by right. not having the blonde hair, blue eyed person that looks like a girl that somebody went to college or high school. Yeah. I but, guess if you grow up in a place where your conception of America, where you're kind of indoctrinated into thinking that your conception of America is blonde hair and blue eyes and like down on the farm, and you think mm -hmm. that's the best thing about America, and all of the changes that have happened to America mm -hmm. in the past 50 years are, are deleterious to the country, then I, c I suppose I can understand that. Because we presumably think that the best thing about America is that it's a melting pot and that it's diverse and that it's a place where the whole yeah. world comes and New York is such an exciting city well, for even reason. Even this incident, uh, for first I want to say that the, the Mr. Mark is the same type of Indian as me, a Telugu, which is cool. And oh, second, yeah, I am too. Oh, really? I didn't know she was Telugu. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Another win. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and also that. Uh, the, uh, the another very American thing, which is where Indian people are jumping to be like, we're, we're being like, uh, she's not even Arab. Arab people, we're not even Arab. Arab people are bad. We're different. Mm. That whole is another American. Thing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, well, yeah. it's like Sikhs as well. Uh, you right. know, Sikhs often get mistaken for being Arabs, and it's always a bit unsettling when they say, no, 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 I'm not no Muslim. we're not bad. Yeah, exactly, right. we're not bad like Muslims. Right. Uh, anyway, let's move along. Oh, also, I've got a great quote, I've got a great uh, message here, Jinsi, for you from one of our viewers who's watching online oh. and commenting. Jan Cummins says, I would like someone to write a book and title it, Can I Have My Vagina Pinker, Please. <laughs> so there you go. That's, Working on it. Yeah, <laughs> Honey, just for you. Go for it, baby. <laughs>